Hey, good morning. It's Dr. Bill Williams, and we're talking today about the paradigm shift. When you understand the power behind a paradigm shift and the transformational change that occurs when you're undergoing that shift, you're going to want to be in the right place to take advantage of it. And so today, I want to tell you what Joel Barker taught me a number of years ago. He said, when a paradigm shifts, everybody goes back to zero. He said, it doesn't matter how strong your reputation is, doesn't matter how big your market share is, or doesn't even matter how good you are in the old paradigm. When the paradigm shifts, everybody goes back to zero. We're fiction to be in a paradigm shift. Let me explain. The paradigm shift happens all the time, different eras, different times. This one we're gonna do is the movie theater. Everybody knows that there's a place to go watch movies. And there's a lot of places, a lot of cinemas. They show a lot of types of movies. And so what I want to do is I want to show you that no matter what place you go see movies or what type of movies there are, you always go and pay your money one time. So you might have dramas, action movies, children's movies, sci-fi movies, art house movies, as types, genres of movies. You might have one in different parts of town, you know, downtown, midtown, suburbs, out in the country, even, um, you can have one on a cruise ship, you can have a movie on a cruise ship. Movies everywhere, but you gotta drive to them. You gotta get in your car, and you gotta drive to the movie, and then you gotta park. Then you gotta go in and pay your ticket price. Then you go in and you look at the counter and there's this food three times normal price. So it's three times the normal price of food. And by the time a family of four goes in, buys a ticket, gets food, they're spending $100 each time they go to the movies. That's an expense, right? So the fans The audience, they're the customers. They have a high cost to see a movie. Now who wins from that game? Well, obviously it's the owners, the people who make the movies, producers, the owners of the movie houses, it could be the stockholders in the companies that run those movie houses or produce those movies. So stockholders. And there's actually a whole bunch of people in between. Brokers, advertisers, brokers, ad people. So the chain is long and that's why a movie costs so much to go and see it. And so that's the model that has been for generations since the 1920s when the first movies started being developed that had sound, that had color in the 1930s. So it evolved. And so they were projected on a screen and you went to the movie house. So what happened? There was a paradigm shift and something happened that there was Blockbuster, and there was VCR tapes you could rent the movies in a box, take them home. Then it changed from that to CDs. You could get a CD set, right? How many of you watched Star Wars series on a VCR when they became available? How many of you watched Downton Abbey when it became available as a series on DVDs? You know, I did. I watched the whole series in like a month for three, four years worth of Downton Abbey. So that was a paradigm shift from the movies to a new way of delivery. What happened next was the most important thing that happened to movies in the digital age. Streaming and Netflix. So when Netflix happened, totally changed everything about the way people view movies, the way they even look at cable. Things were starting to be 
more egalitarian, spread out among more people. But the one thing is, there are still owners, producers, stockholders, and brokers for those movies, still going from the income that was being paid by the consumer. Now the consumer won because they got more choices and more convenience to their home. They didn't have to drive, they didn't have to park, they didn't have to pay exorbitant amounts of money for the food they ate while they were watching the movie. You know, you could buy your popcorn and then pop it at home. So they saved money, but they still weren't making money. The only people making money were the owners, producers, stockholders, and brokers. Now, what happens when the shift happens, the paradigm shift happens? These people, did they make more money or less money when it was a movie house versus when it was a Netflix? Well, it depends on when you got involved and who you got involved with as to whether you made more money or not. A lot of people made more money. Netflix itself has 200 million subscribers. That's a monthly subscription fee. Netflix is valued at over 200, at 160 billion dollars as of June of last year. 160 billion dollar that got created in the last 10 years since Netflix was founded. So that's their market value. Why am I telling you this? Because there's another paradigm shift about to happen. There's another Netflix on the horizon. I want to tell you about that. You're going to be so glad you did because when a paradigm shifts, everybody goes back to zero. So do you notice anything different? When the paradigm shifts, everybody goes back to zero. The slate is wiped clean, starting over. Everybody has an equal chance. Everybody has the power to do what they couldn't do before the shift in that paradigm. The old paradigms go away. The new paradigms start to take over. It happens with every paradigm shift. There's a new power base that comes to town. So let's look at another optional uh, paradigm shift that's happening right now. And that one would be called the Internet World. Things are shifting in the internet world rapidly. And let's talk about the analogy similar to the movie theaters. There's all the big movie houses. You got the one that's maybe communications. You got the one that's like education. You got one that's based on business, business uh, software, business systems. Maybe you've got the one that you know, you really use the most probably social media. Social media. And finally, there's a lot of gamers out there, so we have gamers. So these are some of the ways that the internet world exists, operates every day. People come in and go out hundreds of times a day to these different platforms, these different program systems. So what we want to do is look at how does that relate to the movie theater paradigm shift that went to Netflix. Of course, you had subscriptions to every one of these products. What kind of products are we talking about? Well, every one of these has hundreds of different products tied to them. What's a common communication software that you know about? Zoom? What about GoToMeeting? What about team? So all these different communication platforms exist. What about education? A lot of education, like Kajabi. A lot of ways people work in the classroom with their students. A lot of ways you project your teaching to the world through the internet. So all these, uh, what I'm looking for is things that can be related to by what you know already things that you already use actually things that you already have a subscription to what are you paying for right now we're talking about those kind of things what about PeopleSoft what about 
the um, infusion soft. What about Intuit's uh, money program? What about the program that you do your taxes by, TurboTax? What about the things that are able to hire employees, keep track of their records, the evaluation types of programs? What about the things that do the accounting, like uh, QuickBooks? All these things are business softwares. Over here in uh, the social media, everybody is looking at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the like, TikTok, all kind of things on social media where people interact with each other. The gamers, I'm not a gamer, but you know, uh, if you're a gamer and you know one that you like, then you put it in that category and you go, okay, I'm gonna be spending about one or two hours, three hours a day in this game and I want to have some people to interact with. And so I have hundreds or thousands of people around the world that are in that particular game. And so they're working together to form a community. So each one of these is a community. Each one is a cost to buy, a subscription to stay in. And so who wins? The owner, the creator, producer. And perhaps it could be what we call the stockholder of these companies. Or the broker, the person who sells it in the store to the public. These people would be the winners in this particular game, this internet world that we play every day. Over here, the customers are paying the money. Customers and clients, they are paying a monthly subscription, a yearly big fee to join. Some way they're paying the producers for the right to use that product. The smart ones always do it on a subscription basis, not a one-time buy. We have already generated beyond the one-time buy, and it's now most everybody goes to a monthly subscription to keep up instead of having a, every five or six years having a software upgrade, which was common in the past. So how are we gonna look at this now and the wave that's coming, how is that gonna affect us? Well, just like Netflix, there's a consolidator in town, the new sheriff in town. That's called On Passive. On Passive is taking the point of view that they want to bring everything un under one roof. So one roof works together seamlessly. They also want to make it state of the art. The you know, they want to do everything the best. Just like Netflix took away the advertising and made the cost actually go down from cable, from going to the movies one by one. So we want lower cost, more convenience. We want it available anywhere, anytime. So availability, huge convenience factor. Download it from any smartphone, any laptop, any computer. Use the cloud, not have to download anything not have to worry about where you are. That's the future, that's the paradigm shift that's going on. So what else is happening? Well, from being a customer, you're saving a lot of money, right? But if you're a founder, if you're the CEO, if you're a reseller, all those people are in line to make money not just to use the products. And so the money that's coming in to own passive will pass through to the founders. 270,000 founders right now exist before the start and the launch of on passive, which happens in just a couple of months. So what happens is you become a founder, you take advantage of what the owners take advantage of, the resellers take advantage of you get earned money on a residual basis every month. When the people that are customers join on passive, they pay a monthly fee. Founders receive a monthly fee. They have other benefits too. Much bigger benefits than you would even be able to account in just this short video. But suffice it to say, we have the ability 
to have lifetime residual income as founders. The paradigm shifted to where all this was put together in one package. All these products up here filter down and one company created a better product, a better mousetrap. Because when the paradigm shifted, everybody started back at zero and no matter how big their reputation, how big their market share, how good they were, everybody started over in a new paradigm. So, as we said, if you can build a better mousetrap, people will come. And because on passive is built on artificial intelligence, it's complete, has everything in it that you need to be successful in business or online. Just communicate with your family, running a small business or even a huge business, a Fortune 500 company. Everything you need is in on passive. It's targeted traffic so that the the big problem of business success has always been, I got to get my story in front of customers. On passive is that problem solved. It's also the residual income that solves the problem of success for everybody. The 97% who make up the bulk of the founders will be successful. 97% will have an earned income that will allow them to not have to work to another job if they put any effort out at all. They'll become financially secure. So the whole thing is total freedom using the CATMO system. Total freedom meaning you have all the time and all the money you need to live a life that is going to have abundance. It's going to have legacy potential. So you can build what we call the fam family dynasties. We talked about earlier, the ultimate goal is to build your income to the level where you don't have to work for somebody else. Build your income so that you can secure your family's future and hopefully create enough so that the family has a, a legacy to live by and leave to others as we move forward in the next uh, generations. Generational income is really a possibility without passive. So this is Dr. Bill Williams talking about the paradigm shift. Remember, when the paradigm shifts, everything, everybody goes to zero. We just wipe the board clean and start over. We create our future by design rather than by happenstance. It's a good way to go. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So down below, go ahead and subscribe so you can be getting videos on a regular basis. I'll be glad to teach you some secrets about each of the products that's coming out. Within just a couple of days, we'll have 30 products to preview for you. And we're getting previews behind the scenes ourselves as founders. If you're not a founder, you should join now. Become a founder and you can see the products before they're released. They're going to be released in December. So launch comes a couple of weeks from now. Launch comes and you become a founder before then you lock in your automatic income stream. You wait till after the launch happens. There are no more founder positions, no more automatic income at the founder level. So as Dr. Bill Williams saying, strike while the iron's hot. Make yourself a uh, superstar on the internet just by being a member of OnPassive. Y'all take care. Have a good day.